Hi again guys, Trekworks back here with you. Been out in the shop for the better part of the day here. Um, I've got my warp nacelles uh, uh, all assembled and uh, puttied up and I haven't finished doing all the paint detail on those yet but I'm just now at the point where they're ready to be attached onto the hull so for the very first time here and I wanted to show you this, I got, I'm going to light everything up at once. I've got a lot of, there's probably 200 wire connections in here with a bunch of different separate circuits as well. This uh, these two here at the top, which will come up through the uh, top part of the pylon here and go into the roll bar for the beacon at the top and the photon uh, launcher at the top. So those I won't be doing until the very end. But over here I've got separate lighting, separate circuits for the floodlights, uh, the warp engines, and uh, the main lighting on the hull. So. I can light all that stuff up separate. Now what we should see here is we should see lighting of the warp nacelles. All the beacons should be working. Let me tidy up this lid here just a little. Uh, all the beacons should be working and I should have some floodlight action at the front. There may be a couple of small light leaks here and there that, I, that I'll need to address but uh, overall everything's pretty buttoned up. So here we go. I'm going to plug this thing in and hopefully we've got lights everywhere. Well I can see off the bat I've got uh, the warp the warp nacelles are lighting up uh, like they should. If you can see that. And uh, at the back here we've got this lid still not down yet but it will be in just a few minutes finally. Um, if you can see here I've got some lighting at the back. Uh, I'm going to come back in just a second here and I'll turn off this above fluorescent light and it'll light up all these other little lights for you but I've got beacons here. One behind the bridge. Uh, the, one, the red ones there at the back and then each individual one lighting at the tip of the nacelle and then the ones that are on the bottom side as well and um, so all the lighting is done now Dave this is what the lights look like uh, with that LED tape facing straight up as you can see it's it's perfect I haven't put the micro crystal clear in there yet either so that's gonna all those little twinkles we're getting right now are gonna disappear so um, everything's showing up pretty nice and uh, the last thing I'll do is put all that crystal clear in all the side windows and all the little spotlights and everything in the back so anyway uh, I'll come back here in a second and turn the lights off and I'll show you guys a view of this thing and I'll start turning these lights off and on one at a time as if I was switching them and you can see the effect that we're gonna have on it okay here's a little bit dimmer view here for you so you can see um, all of the uh, these uh, registry highlights that are in here and uh, you can start seeing the color coming through a lot more better on those uh, on those warp nacelles and uh, the little lighting that I've got going on at the back let me turn this overhead light off real quick here and hopefully you can see the individual lights there at the back around the uh, shuttle bays and um, just how much our uh, now again there's some light leaks I got to touch up on here and there but um, you can see that I've got this registry stuff going on. It's going to be kind of neat. When you put the decal there in the middle, it's going to give that kind of effect it had uh, on the show. Now, there's a little, few light leaks there at the front by the uh, Bassard collectors there that I'll take care of. But you can see I've got the, uh, uh, the little floodlights there on the inside facing each other of the warp nacelles and my effects there at the front of the uh, saucer and the bridge and all that and you can see what now you can probably see all these individual strobes um, flashing and once I get this all sealed up it's going to take care of a lot of that excessive light that you see on it so pretty pleased with it all um, yeah and uh, as I mentioned I've got these two set up up here that'll connect to the roll bar when I put that on it at the last spot here but uh, finally got to the point where I can connect it all together and get the lid put down on it and uh, then I can move on to start doing all the decaling be about a week or so and I'll get my my base finished up too so about another week or a week and a half and I'll have this thing all wrapped up but anyway that's uh, how she's looking so far and uh, pretty happy with that uh, there's probably hundred and fifty connections in there and I'm pretty happy that uh, nothing really went wrong uh, a lot of things could have went wrong but a lot of wiring there um, that Evans lighting kit and the model modelers brand tape just worked perfectly together so uh, I'll come back here in just a few minutes with an update and I'll show you this thing all glued together and 
I'll glue it down quick and then it'll have to sit overnight and I'll uh, move on from there. So I'll be right back with a little quick update on the uh, pylons mounted in the top glued down. Well there she is all uh, buttoned up and taped up and I'm ready to put it to bed for tonight. Uh, the nacelles are glued on, the saucer top is now glued down. Pretty happy with the gaps on it, there weren't that many, just, just a couple here on these corners on both sides and uh, a little bit of a seam there uh, just, just to the rear of the crystal and I've already gone and puttied some of that in so that'll be nice and dry by tomorrow and I'll be able to sand that all out and what I'll do then is go all the way around the entire perimeter where there's any gaps, sand that all the smooth and uh, coat over that area with my airbrush one more time and that's the beauty of being able to do this uh, crystal here at the very end. I can spray without worrying about getting any of that in the windows. There's, there's no lenses in there now at all so I can do it at the very last part and then after that uh, I'll throw a really nice smooth coat of clear over this and then I'll start decaling. I'll do the Aztec decals. I've still got to put the roll bar on the top but I want to do that last because uh, there's a lot of these Aztec decals that go on underneath of that and make it a lot easier to do that. And I'm um, kind of wishing now I would have paint detailed the engines before I put them on but um, I didn't want to have too much handling of that and I worried that I would probably smudge something or come back and have to redo it anyway so it's going to be a little bit tougher to do it while it's on the model but uh, I'll get all that knocked out and uh, things are looking pretty good here so yeah and uh, I'm waiting for my uh, my uh, plaque to come in from uh, Laser Creations. Matt over there is going to do some really cool stuff for me on that with my little panel to put my switches on and that, that plaque at the top and I'm going to backlight that and put that on that on the mahogany stand over there so that's that's going to be pretty fun and uh, probably be about a week or so before maybe a week and a half and I'll have this whole thing all wrapped up so but I'll keep doing little updates this week when I come along and some of the decal work I'll show you and things like that so until we see you next time everybody happy modeling